Alrighty you guys, so I've already tried to do this video another, this is my uh, second, actually third time trying to do this video, so let's see if I can actually do it this time. Uh, hopefully people won't be nosy and annoy me. So, right now, we're talking about big slash moving baits uh, for wintertime fishing, wintertime and early spring. Uh, now I will be doing, I think I already actually did one, but I will be doing a video on how to fish uh, pre-spawn lures such as a swim jig, swim bait, uh, underspin, stuff like that. Once it gets a little bit better weather, right now half the pond is frozen and uh, it's going to be colder. Hopefully it won't snow. It says it's supposed to snow. Uh, usually when the local weather channel says it's going to snow, it usually either doesn't or it just very little bit on uh, the tops of the leaves and you can still even see the leaves underneath the snow. So let's hope it's just kind of that stuff and not really going to snow a whole lot. Honestly, I doubt it's going to snow very much, if any. First thing we're going to talk about, I'm sure you guys can probably hear it as I move it around in my hands. They're very loud baits. Spinner bait. So spinner bait is, some some people, it's one of the best baits. Uh, in my opinion, it's a, it's a decent bait. It's not the best in the world. Uh, it's not a magic bait that will just catch fish anywhere in the world. Uh, but I do believe that it's a pretty good bait. Uh, this spinner bait here is a Strike King. Uh, I think this is a half ounce or quarter. I think it's half ounce. Um, bleeding gold blade uh, swimmer or a, a skirt on there. Bleeding chartreuse white with a white 3.5 gunner on the back of that. Um, silver blade, small silver blade, and a big gold blade for uh, added flashing in muddy water. Now, if you're going with uh, clear water fishing, I suggest going with a spinner bait much like this one here. Have to pick that hook up there. Uh, going with something like this one here, very natural, smaller spinner bait. Uh, but when you're muddy water fishing, like I usually do, uh, this right here would be a killer. Uh, next bait is a swim jig. Swim jigs are great pre spawn and post spawn bait. Everybody knows that. They're also great. In other times of the year as well, but a lot of people probably don't fish them in the winter time. But they are great baits in the winter time. Something that I like to do with football jigs, swim jigs, whatever kind of jig that I'm throwing, is cast it out and just creep it very slowly on the bottom, just enough to where that trailer and that skirt is moving. These are my two personal right now. They're my two fa <coughs> excuse me. Uh, they're right now my two favorite swim jigs: the California Swim Jig by Dirty Jigs in crappie color. Uh, with a 3.5 gunner and minnow gray. Uh, this is probably a a really good clear water color. Uh, I would definitely throw it in clear water. My muddy water jig would be this one right here. This is a, I think, Cajun fire gill or something like that. Uh, six cent swim jig. I think this is a half ounce, just like my uh, dirty jigs. And the trailer is a black magic colored uh, 3.5 gunner. So you guys can see there, pretty good swim jigs. I like them as they get hooked together somehow. But awesome baits right there. Uh, swim jigs, you can just creep them super duper slow on the bottom and uh, make contact with cover and catch some big ones. Next bait, now this is the big bait of the video. Actually, it's not the biggest bait, but it is the biggest hard bait of the video. River Sea S Waver. Now I had a big uh, question in my mind of which one of these swim baits to, throw, uh, to show you guys. Of course, this one here is going to get attached to every single thing on my table. There we go. This big 7-inch or the River to CS waiver, which I think is 6 and a quarter inches long. So, I mean, you guys can see there. Whichever one you have, these here are like 10 bucks on eBay. Pretty darn cheap compared to the $17 River to Sea. Uh, they both have pretty much the same action and uh, just a lot different quality, but... You know, for 10 bucks, it's a pretty cheap glide bait. Uh, next bait we're going to talk about. Now, this is not really uh, a big bait, but it is it has a big action. This is more of a moving bait style bait. Uh, you can slow crawl it on the bottom. You can put it on the back of a swim jig. And that is the Doc Sewer Company Mud Crawler. The Mud Crawler is pretty darn good for swim jigs, but in my opinion, just a straight up Texas rig flipping in and out in the cover is awesome for this bait. Now another flipping bait that I personally have just fallen in love with throwing. I love this thing. Uh, Texas rigs, jigs, um, anything like that where you're flipping it. In this, in this bait is key. 
Uh, and that's, hence the name is Flip Out. The Doc Sewer Company Flip Out. And the reason why I call it the Flip Out is because it'd be a flipping bait. So this is a Green Pumpkin Magic Body with the little chicken liver colored claws. And this one here is actually Green Pumpkin Magic as well. Forgot to say that. Uh, awesome flipping bait right there. You can also put it on the back of a jig. Uh, and slow crawl that jig and kind of hop it and bounce it and stuff. You can also put it on a Texas rig and just drag it and crawl it as well. doesn't matter. You can definitely catch fish with this bait. Next bait is, these are two baits that are very different, but they are still kind of the same. Uh, now, one of them is the 7-inch Wrangler Worm. So this color here is actually matte black, no, no flakes or nothing like that, just straight up black. Uh, awesome bait right there great in my opinion i think it's going to be one of the biggest baits of the year because i'm going to be throwing this and the next bait weightless on top of the surface for pretty much probably 80 percent of the time i'm going to be trying to catch a monster with these baits imitating a snake across the surface and that is this guy right here the seven inch wrangler worm and then you guys probably already know what i'm going to talk about the monster 12 inch wrangler worm this color here is called june bug awesome purple with a uh, green blue and uh, purple flake. In my opinion, probably one of my favorite, new favorite colors uh, with these bigger baits is the June Bug. I like the June Bug color a lot. This is just a monster worm, and I can't wait to throw this thing in the summertime around the grass, just buzzing it across the surface very slowly. Uh, it looks like a snake. Like it, I mean, you could scare people with it. It looks so much like a snake going across the water, and uh, I cannot wait to throw that thing. It, I'm, I'm really excited, but with those worms like that, with the bigger worms, you can trigger those bigger bites because those fish are slow and sluggish and they don't really want to move very much, but they see that slow, just hopping across the bottom. You see, they see that slow moving worm. They see that, that it's big and they want to eat it because that's an easy, quick, but big meal that they can just eat up and they don't have to chase after a bunch of small little bait fish. And that is a great bait there. Next bait is the 8 inch and the 6 inch slammer worm. So 6 inch slammer worm is more of a finesse bait I know but the way that I fish them is not finesse at all. The way I fish it half ounce bullet weight 4 aught hook of uh, these guys right here the Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Jason Christie uh, 4 aught EWG hook. That's the same hook that I'll use for all the other soft plastic baits that I'm getting ready to show you except for the last one. 8 inch slammer worm, you guys know, killed it this summer. I mean, I'm talking killed it. They caught tons of fish. I've caught, uh, I don't know how many I counted. I think I caught five or six, maybe even seven four pounders this year, uh, which probably more than I caught all year last year or the year before that. Uh, I was pretty darn happy with the 8 inch slammer worm. The very first day that I brought it out, I caught like a two and a half pounder and I caught another pound and a half fish and then I lost one on it. Um, I, it almost caught three fish on the very first day of it being made. Went out to a pond, was able to catch some four pounders on it. Uh, in my opinion, probably the biggest uh, big fish catcher of the year for sure. Little brother of that is the six inch finesse worm. Now, like I said, I don't fish this like a finesse bait at all. Half ounce bullet weight, half ounce uh, shaky head, fishing it pretty fast, you know, kind of hop, 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 pause. A uh, very fast and erratic way of fishing it, but you can also slow it down. And during the winter time, a slower presence like this is still a thick bait, still a pretty good sized meal, but you can definitely catch those bigger fish on it. Next bait. Now this is a color that I've actually not. I don't think I've shown this color on my channel yet. Uh, this is a brand new color. Um, this is the matte black, which you guys seen that in the ribbon tail uh, worm, in the ribbon tail wrangler worm, but it's a six inch boomstick with a matte black body with a electric blue tail and I think it's a, it looks really good. I'm, I've been starting to experiment with this kind of stuff. I've been doing it with the the four inch boomstick right there and I've started doing it with the six inch boomstick and it came out really really good. I can't wait to throw that thing weightless on like a six aught swim bait hook uh, and I also can't wait to throw that on a half ounce Texas rig down on the bottom uh, just slow dragging. Cannot wait for that thing. That thing is going to be a killer. And the very last bait, now the very last bait, is a bait that I have yet to catch a fish on. 
Now, 90% of the baits I've shown in this video, except for one, two, three, I think only three, four, four of the baits in this video I've yet to catch a fish on, the soft plastic wise. Um, the hard bait, the River CS waiver, I've yet to catch one on, hoping to this year. Now this bait is one that I cannot wait to catch a fish on because I think if I do, it might, per it probably will break my personal best, more than likely. And that is the Monster 6 inch Swimmer by Doc's Lure Company. It's a giant bait. Let's look at it compared to the River to Sea S waiver here. Now this is a 120 size, or excuse me, this is a 168 size River to Sea S waiver. You guys that have thrown the River to Sea S waiver know exactly how big it is, six and three quarter inches. Look at it compared to the six inch swim bait. It is huge compared to the River to Sea S waiver. It's a big bait, it's a thick bait, it's got a big presence in the water, but what I like about this tail, if you look, it has a little bit of a cup right here on the tail and that catches water and what it does is it has a very slow back and forth kind of a rolling tail kick. It's not a really fast erratic one like the 3.5 Gunner, it's not really slow and sluggish like a Huddleston, but it has a very good rolling, kind of a finesse swim bait, but in a giant package. It's an awesome bait. I can't wait to throw that. Uh, I have actually some hooks. They are way too big. Let me see. Do I have it up here? Yes, I do. It's a, I think this, yeah, this was a 10 aught owner beast hook. That thing is huge. Look at it compared to my fist. That, that thing is gigantic. But that hook is a bit too big for it. I need some eights. I need some eight or seven aughts. Uh, the six the aught hooks that I have, the seven aught hooks that I have don't fit it. But I think a seven or eight aught beast hook would probably fit it pretty nicely. Uh, a jig head, a normal like quarter ounce uh, jig head or three quarter ounce swim bait jig head is perfect size for it. Uh, you can grind it right on the bottom and uh, you can catch some big ones with that. I think that thing will kill it with the muskie and pike as well if you want to purchase it for that. Um, I mean, I don't know about tarpon. I've never fished for tarpon. I don't fi I don't watch fishing on saltwater very much, uh, but if tarpon actually hit lures, I think that thing right there would probably catch a tarpon pretty darn easy. So I don't know though. Uh, but thank you guys for watching once again. If you want to purchase any of the baits in the uh, video here, let me know down in the comments. Uh, or email me through the email in the description. Thank you guys for watching once again. Bye.